what is human performance technology? This is a question that you'll likely receive as you continue your graduate studies at Franklin University. And you'll probably receive that same question as a professional in the field. And you'll be able to build on your knowledge about human performance technology as you progress through the program. So first, let's define human per performance technology. It is a systematic approach to improving productivity and competence. It is problem solving using a suite of methods, procedures, and strategies. It's important to note that human performance technology takes a very holistic look at performance and can use many different kinds of analyses and interventions to really improve performance. And that's the goal of human performance technology, is to improve performance. One of the models that you will use in your studies and in your work as a performance technologist is the human performance technology model. Now there are four general phases within this model and we'll kind of describe each of these phases briefly with an acknowledgement that this model is much more in depth than our overview here. Now the first phase or step in the model is analysis. And there are two major things that you would do in this analysis. The first is to really figure out what the performance gap is. And to find out what that performance gap is, you take a look at the desired performance versus the actual performance. For example, if you're working with a group of customer service representatives, and the goal is to have those representatives handle their phone calls on average uh, for three minutes each call. Well, if that group is actually performing at around 3 minutes and 45 seconds per call, then there's some, a gap of 47 seconds. Once you know what that gap is, the next thing to really analyze and take a look at are the causes. These can be environmental causes or individual causes. So as soon as you know what the performance gap is and what the causes of that gap are, the next step is to select an intervention. And these interventions can really have two major categories. They can be environmental or they can be individual. Those are the two levels. Of course, there are many different strategies and different techniques that can be used for each of those. But again, those are the general categories that you can use. The next step is to implement that intervention. And there are several strategies for doing this effectively. Partnering with individuals across the organization and even outside the organization using consultants to help define and use effective processes, project management to keep the implementation on track, and communication to make sure everyone is on board and understands what's happening. The final step or phase in this model is evaluation. And this really takes three major forms. The first is formative. And this means that you evaluate what's happening to get feedback and improve the process. Summative really helps you to see whether it's working, whether people are actually learning or the performance is improving. And then confirmative that really checks to see the effectiveness or efficiency or the impact of what's been done. This evaluation really happens across the entire other three steps in the process. But as you go through the program, you'll gain expertise at every one of these steps and phases, and you'll find that you're able to improve performance very effectively in the organizations that you work in. So this has been a basic introduction to what human performance technology is, and we will continue to share more videos on topics of interest in the Instructional Design and Performance Technology program at Franklin University.